The second verse, you can call it. Technically and literally, this is the pro variant of the verse that came out a week ago. This one has no SD, but is waterproof, is $40 more, but has Bluetooth, so it seems it's a little bit of a balancing act. What else does it have in store? Well, let's take a look. Let's go over the build quality first. Much like the verse, which you guys already saw, this is... <laughs> I just love it. Honestly, everyone in the office here loves it. This latest line of pocketbook devices have never looked this good. They are built with the super tight materials. It's so well tooled and every part of this just screams quality from the absolute flat point that has this crystal flake all the way to this tiny little subtle lip splitting the front wraparound red. It just peeks over to the front. Unbelievable. I honestly love it. Pocketbook is the last man, last company, last whatever standing that makes ebook readers outside of the big three that don't have Google Play, Speed Modes, uh, Android apps, or anything like that. They just make ebook readers, and it hurts them and doesn't hurt them at the same time. You get a sunken screen and bezel. You can see the glow light turning on as well. We'll get into that in the whole thing. These beautiful, classy buttons that are just tucked away at the corner. But you know what the difference is between the Verse and this? Physically, is that they don't have an SD card. They didn't even put one with a little door, and there's no way to rip this off or rip the little panel off like the Viva to get into it. But with that, let's get into the UI. This is going to look the same as its younger brother, older brother, whatever, its counterpart, the Verse Standard, except for audiobooks. And if you go to the top, I want to show this right away. I got to get into this. The settings on these latest pocketbook devices are beautiful. We're going to skip over a bunch of this and go right into personalization. You get front light and dark mode. Now watch this. If I go to advanced uh, front light and then I go to new settings and I just write anything, test or whatever, keyboard, good time to look at. It's just a conventional keyboard. You do get multiple languages and tertiary and secondary keys. So we're going to go like that. Going to test, look what happens. I get a freaking currency grid here. This is amazing. So what you do is you choose your time. So for example, 12 noon, I want my front light on and I want it all the way to the top. I want my smart light to accompany that. Oh, but you know what? At 2 p.m., 1400 hours, I want it on as well, but I want it low. But I want a ton of smart light all the way to the top. And the dotted lines is a smart light and the regular line is, I just, I look, I absolutely love this. I think. This is ingenious. No other company has ever done this out of the box. You can download apps that do this, scheduling things that affect different processes in your device, but no one has done that out of the box. I love it. Kudos to you guys. You have dark mode, which inverts everything, and then you can invert illustrations in the reader as well right there. So dark mode does make it a little bit easier on your eyes, all things considered. This is the thing to get, in, get into right now, and we'll try to go through this as quick as possible. You already did it in the other video. Global key mapping. Look at this. You can do home, home hold, menu, or menu double press, and everything will do something else. So for example, if I want home hold to be something... I can choose it. Screenshot, library, calendar, and clock. I can even make it do music player processes. Open player, play, pause, volume up, volume down. That's insanity. That is insanity how deep they go into this. And it is different with every single thing. And different things do different things. If I go back to key mapping, I can also key map separately from global. EPUB, just EPUB, and the processes are different. Now I have forward, forward, hold, back, back, hold, and then I have Bluetooth options as well because this does have Bluetooth versus the verse that does not have Bluetooth. Go back to key mapping. One more thing is PDF is again different than the other one. It's just absolutely amazing. I love this settings. You also have logos. You can do different things on boot logo and power off logo. One thing I don't really agree with is that that level of customization they give you in key mapping and front light does not trickle into logos. I want to put a screenshot of maybe my family, maybe a, a something I'm, I have on my device storage, but you can't do that. It actually doesn't let you do that for some strange reason. And widget settings is completely barren. There's just one setting. So it's kind of weird how they had so much going on in the top half and you get down to the bottom half and just nothing happens. You also have audiobooks folder, which is going to be different than the verse because this does have audio. We will be playing an audiobook later on in this video. Let's go home and look at a normal book because this is an e-reader. It is an e-book reader, first, foremost, and all, except for the apps, which we'll show you a little bit later on, but they're not that important because they're just kind of pleasantry games and stuff like that. Getting into a book. This does have a lot of books on 
bored, but you can sideload in your books via your PC. But no, you can't download books from an app like the Amazon app, the Kindle app, the Kobo app, but they have a store on here which you can get books from as well. So, aside from all those key mapping things, because I honestly didn't even remember what I set the key maps to, and I don't think I changed it, but either way, the page turns are very good, and why they're so good is because you notice if you do a bunch of turns, it actually slowly and inconspicuously turns into an A2 mode, and then when it stops, it then refreshes and renders into the HD mode. Unfortunately, there is no user controllable speed mode, so you don't get your A2s, you don't get your fast, you don't get your extreme, you don't get your ultra fast. That's just not something you'll find on pocketbook devices because they don't want you to have access to the speed modes. If you long press on something a little bit longer than the, what I did a second ago, you get a bunch of different things you can do here. You can search Google, you can leave a note, you can leave a highlight, or you can search in dictionary. There's another thing you can do is right here take notes and you actually can take notes you can mark text with a marker you can add a comment you can use the pencil to draw yes when you're on here you can actually draw using pencil or a capacitive stylus not Wacom not active capacitive and not EMR electromagnetic resonance it doesn't have any of that but you can take notes directly on the page itself now we're not gonna look at PDFs we're not gonna look at anything else because this one has audio so we're gonna connect a speaker to it Unfortunately, we don't have a dongle in the box, but we will do a Bluetooth speaker and let you guys hear an audiobook. I didn't know what to do, so I came straight to you. That was always the way. Folk who were in grief came to my wife like birds to a lighthouse. It was very sweet of you to come. I just gotta say, could you imagine narrating 10 hours of a book? That would be crazy. You actually can control this from your Bluetooth device. You can see I'm completely unconnected, disconnected, and I can press the play button. Or should you rather that I send James off to bed? And press it again for pause. So you do have full access to the actual controls on your unit. Last thing we're going to look at before we get out of here is apps. Now, there's not a lot here. You do get some things like the Only Hey book marketplace slash library access. We can't use it because we can't actually access any of the books or libraries in any of our locations because there's nothing really in North America or Asia. It's all European. You do have Chess, Klondike, Sudoku, and Scribble. Scribble's really interesting because technically having the Scribble app made Pocketbook the first color e-paper note taker ever by a a completely kind of weird loophole because they did have color, they were first, and you can use your fingertip. It wasn't Wacom, it wasn't active capacitive or anything like that, but it does work and you get multiple colors eight in fact you get different line thicknesses because it is basically there's no pressure sensitivity it's just going to be how what you, you set it at and then you get eraser you get text box text font up and down back forward and delete that is the entire thing there's nothing else to it i think that this overall unit before we get into the pros and cons is a very decent choice in the world of ebook readers it has enough there that it's going to satisfy any need around ebook reading general ebook reading general pdfs manga and to a lesser extent audiobooks because they don't have a speaker and they don't have a dongle Bluetooth enabled, Carta 1200 screen, and waterproofing makes this a more premium version, obviously, of the two. However, there is still no speed mode. They got rid of the SD card, and it is $40 more than the cheaper variant. You guys have heard both sides of both devices, so we'll leave it to you to make the final decision. However, it must be noted that Pocketbook is one of the last companies standing that makes, all puns intended, a good e reader. Thanks for watching.